Hey, it's Luke Lonian, and you're listening to 103.1 KFIL's Coach's Corner On Demand. And welcome back to Coach's Corner. With us now, the head coach of the Rushford Peterson Trojans football team. It's Davin Thompson. Coach, how's it going today? It's going good, Luke. Thanks for having us on this morning. Hey, thanks for being here, Coach. We certainly do appreciate it. A close battle for you guys against Kenny Wanamingo. You come out with the win, 19-14 on the road, Coach. Uh, overall, your thoughts on the game? You know, just uh, like you said, just a close battle the whole way. Um, you know, the scoring started out um, about midway through the first quarter. Um, Kenyon Wanamingo put a nice drive together. Um, we had it uh, fourth down and eight, and uh, Will Van Epps was able to find Alex Lee for a 39-yard touchdown. Um, just had a miscommunication. Um, switched from man to, to zone defense a little bit, and uh, probably a bad call on my part. And Alex Lee ran a nice route, was able to get behind our safety, and uh, Will Van Epps put it on him, started the scoring. Um, they went for a two-point conversion, Kenyon Wanamingo did, and uh, Will Van Epps was able to run that in uh, himself from the quarterback position. So after one quarter, down 8 nothing, felt like we played a pretty good quarter. Um, you know, trying to be more physical and, uh, you know, cut down on the penalties that we had versus Fillmore Central last week. Um, came out in the second quarter. Uh, we put a nice drive together, uh, running the ball with Jonah Bunky and Grady Hangel, um, mixing a little tight in tack outs. And Riley Tesh was able to get going a little bit. Um, I think it was a 60 yard drive altogether, but. Riley was through a nice fade pattern to Samson Wilkemeyer. Uh, it was a seven-yard pass. Um, Samson kind of guy was playing Samson inside shade and just released straight up the field. Riley kind of put it on his back shoulder, and Samson went and got it. So just a a great ball by Riley and a good athletic play by Samson to go get it. Um, so after halftime, you know we're down eight-seven. Put a nice drive together towards the end of the second quarter. Um, so just reiterated to our guys again, you know, we need to play physical. Uh, we need to get in and out of the huddle faster just to kind of keep that momentum and um, that physical play that we're looking for. Um, so we came out first drive of the second half. We were able to get the – we got the kickoff in the second half. Uh, we were able to drive down um, all on the ground and punch in a score. Uh, Grady Hangel's extra point uh, got blocked, um, so we're down 13 to eight. Uh, we were able to get a stop; they got a stop, um, and then Kenyon Wanamingo put a, a drive together as well, converted on a couple of fourth downs. Uh, Colton Sternberg um, carried the ball into the end zone for him, and Will Van Epps. Uh, they tried kind of another quarterback run on the two point conversion, and that was no good. So 14-13, we're down again. Um, ball kind of went back and forth uh, at end the third and start the fourth quarter. Um, uh, we got it back. Um, had a couple run plays on the ground and then uh, a little halfback option pass. So uh, a little quick pitch to Grady Hangel. He was able to find Samson Wilkemeyer streaking down the sidelines. Uh, I think it was about a 39-yard pass. Samson got pushed out at the one-yard line, and uh, Grady Hangel was able to run it in two plays later. Uh, puts us up 19-14 um, about midway through the fourth quarter. Um, Kenyon got the ball back, kind of four, minute, four minutes to go or so. Uh, we got him fourth down on the first set of downs they were able to convert nice scramble by the quarterback um, got them fourth down again we were able to stop them so we were feeling great end up fumbling on the next possession on the next play our first possession after we had stopped them um, so they had the ball on our 38 yard line uh, we were able to stop them on four and out again um, we got one first down and that's the ball game so kind of starting to um, do the things that we've been talking about. Kids had a great week of practice. Um, you know, Tuesday and Wednesday, we told them on Monday, we got to be more physical. We got to start doing more of it in practice. We got to tackle more in practice and do those little things that we need to do to win the game. Um, still put the ball on the ground four times last night offensively. Um, you just can't 
fumble the ball four times. Two of them we lost uh, and expect to win um, big games. Uh, so, you know, we still got some things to work on. Our penalty situation was better, but um, offensively, I think we're trying to, we're starting to find an identity uh, running the ball on the ground. Uh, you know, Grady Hangel had 13 carries for 91 yards, uh, two touchdowns. Jonah Bunky is a sophomore, had 13 carries for 102 kind of right where we want to be with those two, um, you know, 10 to 15 carries and Titan Tech outside five carries for 15 yards. Um, and Titan, obviously our middle linebacker, another good back, and he could probably touch the ball just a little bit more. So we're starting to get there, Luke. We're putting the pieces together a little bit and, uh, you know, starting to play rush for Peterson football again. So just really proud of our team. Like you mentioned, a close win, 19-14, the final score, the win for Rushford-Peterson over Kenyon Wanamingo. Coach, a 2-1 and one start to the season. What have you been most pleased with uh, with this team so far uh, through the first three games? I think just our response. You know, we got you know, we got a lot of good athletes, um, but just haven't been in these positions on Friday nights. And, you know, football's a big deal, and it, it means a lot to our kids and to our community. And, you know, there's some pressure there, which – you know, we talk about we talked about this week is a pressure to have privilege. Or it's you know that's a privilege to have pressure um, to have to win. But just their response. Uh, you know, I thought through the first two weeks when something bad happens, take that fumble after we get the fourth down stop. Uh, you know, we start second guessing ourselves and not maybe not not playing hard, but just thinking too much and thinking about what bad could happen. And I just kind of saw that look in their eyes a little bit last night after we fumbled, like, hey, look, we got to, oh, we just got to get another stop. Um, so, you know, we have to clean those things up. But just that response and being starting to become men is like, hey, yep, something bad did happen, but we need to respond now. We need to get another stop. So that's the most proud of. Um, and then they're just learning, 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 learning. Um, you know, they get a lot thrown at them. We try to prepare them as best we can off the film, but some people are always throwing new stuff in. A lot of great coaches in our district, so they got to learn on the fly and just follow their rules and stay within those rules, and they'll be fine. But um, I'm just really proud of, like I said, their response, and then just keep learning on the go. we got to just keep getting better here every week. you got Wabashaw Kellogg next week, Coach. Uh, what do you expect to see from the Falcons? Single-wing spinner back, so uh, <laughs> it's a fun week of practice. Um, you know, it's it'll be really good for our kids again because Wabasha is going to be unbalanced all the time, so we're going to have to find the tight end. We're going to have to figure out what side has the three linemen on it, and we're going to have to get lined up. Um, so we're going to have to watch film. We're going to have to communicate with each other. Um, so it's another good opportunity for us to just see – what's in front of you, follow your rules and get lined up. Um, you know, we'll practice without a ball this week because you never know where the ball is. Um, so that's another thing, you know, just defensively reading your keys and trusting it. Um, do your job, you know, is one big thing that we preach. So, you know, obviously we'll prep for Wabasha, but we just still got to keep taking care of ourselves. We got to hold on to the football. Um, we got to eliminate some more mistakes the best we can and just try to play a clean football game. Davin Thompson with us, the head coach of the Rushford Peterson Trojans, coming off that 1914 win over Kenyon Wanamingo. They have Wabashaw Kellogg next Friday night at home. Uh, coach, we appreciate the time. Thank you for chatting with us here today, and good luck next week. Thanks, Luke.